What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire and I should be sounding a lot more crisp and more pleasant to listen to because I finally upgraded my recording setup to OBS with lots of other interesting filters and noise suppression widgets. But to pick up where we left off, we are pushing forces west through northern Italy towards Venice and our first objective is to destroy this force blocking our path with an army under Said Mehmet to open the way for this force behind them to push in and lay siege to the city. But first we must destroy them and I think this is the first proper application of... Well no, actually no, we have fought with the organ gun before but uh, I think it was fairly useless in that particular battle. But well, this time it'll be a good chance to try and give it a bit of a... bit of a working out. So let's have a pop. Um, so... The driver to update my audio settings has been that recent experience with the Brutii. I was mainly experimenting how to deal with noise suppression, which uh, OBS has a few more tools to make it easy to manage compared to my previous software, which ultimately I was only using that because I w it was what I was used to. Um, there we go. For some reason my <laughs> WASD wasn't working for a second there. Okay, so then let's pick up our core of the infantry. It's an interesting feature to our right. In fact, let's put all our artillery up here. Come on, including our great guns. That's a great gun directly next to a, to a 24 pounder. <laughs> it's pretty beastly. We're going to push them up to this ridge line and fire over our troops. Our howitzers can stay in a fairly safe position behind the lines, chucking up quick line. Our infantry line is going to be pretty standard. There we go. I'm going to push the melee infantry in through the town because that might be quite fun. Let's put some of our cavalry on the flank. You know, here are. Let's turn our deadly horsemen. Fire at will off. Here's our Circassian Armoured Cavalry, which... <laughs> Monty by the Knights is exactly what they look like. Okay, let's group these fellas up. Put some Zupahi on the right flank. General in the centre. One thing that is off-putting is on my other monitor, I can see my OBS recording. <laughs> okay, then let's deploy. Roll up the guns. Push up our infantry a good distance ahead. How it is engaging in quick climb, and they have. Okay, they're both focus firing one particular unit, so let's not do that. Instead, one unit hit the Swiss pikes. To be honest, let's focus fire the Swiss pikes. Push my. Don't push my cavalry up too far on the flanks. But yeah, so scenarios like this are where the Grey Gun will never truly uh, be used to its maximum effectiveness because it does have that enormous range. 24 pounders have got a range 900. Oh, that's only an extra 100. But even then, <laughs> does that mean it can almost engage anyone? Yeah, they can engage people all the way to the far edge of the battle map. So we're overextending on our right flank, so let's push up some men to take advantage of that. They do have Swiss pikes, so we need to be careful. Our artillery is getting ready to engage. So who is over here? Guerrilla mercenaries. Okay, maybe we might want us to drop some quick climb on this because it's quite a large concentration of marines on this flank. Again, we're back to weird audio problems. Here come the Swiss pikes in there, smashing armor plate. Come on. Get yourselves into position. It looks like if they want to 
be funny in their deployment, then I'll push my line up, push my cav past their defensive defenses. Our artillery is engaging, and this is a bit of a concern. Charge our janissaries into these skirmishes that want to get close to us. There you go. So their skirmish mode has kicked in, but it does not mean they're not going to escape us completely. There we go. We did catch them, and now we are at war. Funny audio probs. Should have been a good quick line hit. Sapahi engage the guerrilla mercenaries behind the lines. My line infantry are going to be engaging the Swiss pikemen. Quick line has done great work in the centre. Let's push our cavalry around these defences because they're not really going to be needed. Push my janissaries up. Yeah, those mercenaries have been broken. Pikemen are probably going to try and chase down my cavalry. But you can see why this has been such a fickle problem to trace down because, uh, you know, one moment it's there, the next moment it's not. So let's go secure. You're doing okay. Okay, the Janus Musketeers get them to hit the pikemen, charge into them just so they get a charge bonus. Let's bring my Sapahi around to counter charge. There we go, you finally caught up with them. Hey, did the General's bodyguard charge my melee infantry? Sapahi. Let's run around the flank of this combat before charging into the backs of the pikemen. I mean, we're armoured, so we should be a bit more resistant to what they're trying to do. But we may start losing lots of cavalry, although we're being fairly resilient to it. The general has been killed in the melee combat, and the sound's back. Belly horsemen, come and engage the group of mercenaries. Bring in my armoured cavalry. Let's bring my general over here to chase down the pikemen. My sapati to push her around. You hit that guerrilla mercenary, you hit that guerrilla mercenary. Now let's have a look at that great gun. Unsurprisingly, three my cavalrymen have been not shot off. So in terms of reloading skill, not that much slower. They're very inaccurate. They can chase down the Swiss pikemen. You guys folks fire this flank. So let's line up on the gun and then try... Oh, the muzzle smoke means I couldn't hear it. But they did pretty good, this unit was tied to waver. Get the Janus unit to chase down the Marines. You've got six Irregulars, you should take them out pretty quick. You've only got two, so you should probably take them out pretty quick. I definitely want to make some good... Make some real damage. Oh, I don't know why my words are failing me at the moment. Do some real damage to these guys, considering they are going to be routing towards where uh, where our follow-up armies are trying to hit them. So we don't want them to escape with significant numbers of men. Let's retarget my great gun although it looks like to be honest lots of their forces are broken it's in quite devastating quick climb fire going on so let's just get you guys firing at the marines in the center i 
want to let these guys route a bit further away from their line. My general's bodyguard's back. So I don't want them to, to turn and run back through the spikes. There we go, my, my Janus just chased down and killed the marines. Keep my marines chasing them down, they're doing good work. Okay, now you can engage, you hit the marines. Bring my general in, he can go hit the 11th regiment. Start to uh, push up these other units to do something more useful. Throw my janitors into the backs of these infantry, but also then stop. Stop my howitzers from firing and killing them all with quick line. Crashed into the back of these irregulars. You will chase down those marines eventually because you're not as tired. As them. You men, you're tired, they're winded. You chase them down, stop our artillery from engaging. Cavalry around the flank to try and kill them. Okay, my general's bodyguard is having doing a good job hitting this infantry. These guys wait for those marines to poke themselves out. You can chase down the 17th. Then my this unit of armed cav will go and knock out those units. These guys are lying in wait for these men to leave safety of their defences. Come on, General. Kill these six men, because there's a couple of other units that would be good targets for you coming up. Okay, now you can charge down the foot guards. You can charge down this unit of marine... of, um... Marines? No, mercenaries. Okay, let's just walk those guys, my infantry, out of the way. Work. There we go, my generals now. Mercenaries. Charge the mercenaries because they're the closest to the line. Should probably do some good damage to them. This cav unit will probably knock out those mercenaries in short order. Nah, those guys aren't going to escape. Yeah, they killed the mercenaries, so you guys chase down the regiment of foot. You guys try and get some damage on those guys. Nah, you missed. My armoured cav focus on this unit of marines. Good. Okay, hit that unit of guerrillas because there's only one of them. We're still chasing down this unit of marines. To kill them, you shall. Now, these men are going to successfully rout. Sad face. Try and do some more damage to these marines before they make it to the line. Too bad they escaped. So that's all up to these guys to chase down these guys, and they've successfully killed them all. Beautiful. So, we lost 900 men. They lost nearly oh, 3,266. And obviously our cavalry have done some great work, but our Janissaries did a lot of damage. Some of our Israelis actually got up to uh, four experience chevrons. Pretty good. So that's pushed them back. So then this force can replenish. Abdul Hamid Hoka, you can then put 
Venice under siege. Oh boy, it's quite a, this is quite a big fight. This is the kind of fight I'd probably do in the next episode because it would take an entire episode to do it. So I just want to check other things first. You're replenished. You're a bit isolated, strung out so far ahead of the line. Uh, do you have a madrasa? You do, so let's build this into a craft workshop. I mean, I'll probably attack the city of Venice in a moment. Okay, let's drop some of these in here. We also have two agents in Zagreb, so we've got one in Venice. Let's push one onto Lombardy. But when we take Venice, we'll then turn south and head towards our old enemy the Italian states. We've got Tripoli. March. They really don't like us, even though they used to beat us. So let's recruit uh, some Delhi horsemen to act as a bit of a bit of a garrison. We've got, you've got some Janissaries and we're also converting the population very quickly. You are also, you are also have also been captured. So let's build a madrasa here. We're allied with Spain, and I'm sorry, Spain, but soon our alliance must come to an end. Because it would be pretty neat, I think, for this army. Actually, do I even need to build a madrasa here? Not really. Craft workshop. So let's get you into Ragusa and get Ragusa to build a sloop to get ready to ship them across the Adriatic to hit Naples and then we'll have Rome uh, surrounded. I don't think the Italian states own any other provinces bar Rome so we don't have to worry about this navy doing anything too frustrating. We do want to go up and hit Tunis because once we hit Venice then we've got to hit Milan in Tunis, and that will be uh, Venice knocked out. I think I'm probably going to take this guy and let's go and attack the capital city of Venice. He's got a good selection of troops, some very elite troops. We don't have our great guns up into the up in the area. God damn, that's some cool infantry. Okay. No, they're not. They're not as useful for um, army for city fighting purposes, but they'll be good when we're on the field. So I'm going to dispatch some south. I want to keep some in Vienna because right now there is a bit of a resistance to foreign occupation problem. Uh, it looks like, yeah. This priest, this Italian state's priest, is doing some conversion work, which is proving difficult to to beat, as is this Austrian missionary. But they've only got one region left, so it won't be long. But I digress. Let's go and destroy the Venetian capital. So it's going to be similar in principle to what we've done before. We are going to blow a hole in the walls, quick load some troops, come around the flank, attack the city. And I think uh, that will be pretty damn good. Then we'll have ourselves a very, very valuable fortified region to push into the North Italian front. And that's why I'd like to take Naples, because then my force could push west into Northern Italy, rather than having to worry about being attacked from the south as well. Come on. Deploy the artillery, deploy our howitzers. Drop the quick climbs are going through the breach. Obviously, it's going to be pikemen, sec bands. A two Israeli will be enough to fortify and secure the breach, plus the cavalry. Then our Israeli and our Janissary grenadiers will be pushing in 
from the opposite direction. lot of troops right there to quick climb the bejesus out of. And that's before we even start doing damage to the wall itself. So in terms of what they've got in the centre, they do have their own pikes. A lot of pikes. They do have cavalry and they've got lots of artillery, but it looks like it's probably not going to get any use. Covering this section of the wall, we've got the unit of ooh, two units, oh no, one unit of marines and a unit of guerrilla mercenaries. So we've got more than enough to overwhelm that flank, but what I prefer to do is... What I prefer to do is open this breach so that they have to spread their forces out to respond to my attacks. What I've, what I've uh, experienced previously you probably want to target over here now with quick life. What I've experienced before is sometimes you will attack the city and then the... like your assault forces may be repulsed and then before you know it you're just relying on the troops near the breach which are now incredibly vulnerable and weak and are likely going to be concentrated in, into oblivion. So let's just let the artillery do their job open a way into the city then we'll likely pick some more quick line targets but, but when we've got our gap we will begin once we've got our breach like that <laughs> the men that fall we will begin our advance so now what I really like doing is just splitting their splitting their forces. Let's keep our artillery dropping round shot into the breach to do damage. Quick climbing howitzers to also do the same job. Let's run our troops. Sometimes I might run a guy up onto the walls here to charge down. Right now they might. It looks like they might bring their general's bodyguard out to play. You guys run down. Two units up onto the walls. Let's just run one unit over here to capture the gate. Three units can hold positions here waiting for the gate to be secured. And you guys can do the same thing. You can run a unit of cavalry down here to intercept the general if they get close. Quick climbing howitzers will want to focus the Swiss pikemen because of their clear danger. I think I might have nicked one too many infantry, so let's drop a infantry unit in the centre to fire on any that decide to leave the fort. And we'll even put our sec bands here because they can fire shots with their pistols. It looks like they certainly are getting... Oh, they're also coming... Pretty, oh, that's a lot of Swiss pikes down. It looks like we do have Swiss pikes coming through the wall. It's just a bit more impetus on our breach assault going well. So you men, fire. The leading elements coming out of the city. One last volley. I mean, they might even let you get more if you if they reload in time. The plan is if I put my Mamelukes here, it might give them either a secondary target or I can hammer an anvil in. See, the thing is, these are quite fairly veteran Israeli, so they're not going to be top quality troops to defend against pikemen, but 
they would do enough damage to maybe make them reconsider what it is they're attempting to do. And I do also have other troops I can throw into the mess. My Mamelukes need to run away now. My sec bands, yeah, they can't fire until they get within range. Just make sure my Mamelukes do withdraw. But I want to see this happen. Surprise! These guys are going to secure the wall. Ooh, quick climbing howitzers can now hit that, the, their cavalry, which it looks like they've immediately responded to that. Fortunately, the Swiss pikemen are now having to... They now can't exit through this door once it's been shut captured the east easterly gatehouse. So let's get my men inside. Okay. Sec bands. Let's push our first unit in. Actually, you guys drop into square. You guys stop what you're doing. Surprise volley from hidden pistols from my Janissaries has dissuaded them. Let's run my pikemen over here as a blocker, push my sec bands into the gap. More than happy to let the 21st destroy itself. Actually, to be honest, my Isarelli can go inside the city, my Janissaries can take one area one direction my Israeli can take the other. Hey, I see you. And I also see my quick climb shot not doing exactly what it's planned, so I switched around shot and start to hit the center. Are they really going to capture the city or capture the uh, capture the command building? These Janissaries want them to load and fire and begin engaging the Marines. Command HQ is ooh, drop into square. Command HQ is a great building to have because they've got a very good field of fire in all directions. Throw my next unit of Israeli in. of this combat because my men won't be oh, well they aren't doing very well the 21st but they're being resupplied or supported by the 36th now the 21st can pull back Push these Israeli around the flank. These Janissary Musketeers just run them in. Because now, to be honest, I don't care about this. The general that's escaped. Oh no, it's not the general. There we go. In moments like this, it's not so bad having to run through the door because you don't want them to climb the ladder anymore. But... They're doing pretty good. Sec bands, there's 265 of them. And they're doing a lot of damage. But this line infantry that's going to start opening up. And all the gun teams and so on in the center. Cube Grenadiers isn't doing so well against the Marines. Charge the Marines as well. Actually, let's run you down this direction. Why aren't you guys engaging? 
the pikemen. To be honest, I can run my cavalry around here and then in. <laughs> around the pikemen. There we go. The 47th have got a, a good idea. Or they, they're having the right idea. Firing by rank into their gun teams, although they're not actually firing. Fortunately. There we go. The Marines are now dealing with Janissary Musketeers and also our Janissary Grenadiers. As these Catholic swine shot down. Gates can't handle it. Push another unit of sec burns in. So that one can focus on one unit and one can focus on the other. We've also taken actually this this gateway over here. And the unit of marines. There's quite a long line of spikes. So maybe I don't want to push you guys in. In that direction, let's run you around. Hey, is this guy doing a? He's gonna break the f break the siege open on his lonesome. Okay, you guys get in, and start to take out the infantry. There are some reinforcements coming in. The new men can just pivot about. And get ready. Yeah, these pikemen they've got, they're definitely elites now, but they will not last. Down go the gunners. Pikemen can charge in. Raw Mamaru guards can try to intercept this brave, brave soul. Oh no, he's doing a charged square on his own. Oh, he nearly made it in. See the men of the breach are getting. They're just getting held up at this point. The actual defenders are, are done. You guys charge down. You men form a battle line. To be honest, this 63 strong unit, you can continue to engage the Marines. Get 63 against 2. General. General's bodyguard, remaining one unit. Second bonus, charge the line infantry. You guys push in, let's stop firing with our artillery. Well, actually, let's keep this infantry back here. <laughs> keep my non. Uh, my non melee infantry. In a position where they can actually do something useful. There we go. Turn fight well off. 16th have been engulfed. The 5th foot guards are still alive and kicking, but they they are surrounded. New men engaged the guerrilla mercenaries. Reinforcements have been repulsed. Marines are not happy with their situation. Can't stand against the furio furiosity of our troops. Slaughter them! Leave none alive! Although that is everyone, isn't it? It is indeed. Awesome! A heroic victory for our forces. And they have been utterly, utterly destroyed. Good stuff here.
the town, the city is ours. So let's repair the buildings. Let's replenish our men. Let's knock down probably this weaver's cottage for now in order to replace it with a madrasa so we can send our imam down to begin converting Rome itself. The home of the Pope is now going to become an Islamic stronghold. They're replenished. They're in good nick. Let's repair the wine estates. I don't think I've not... I haven't checked myself, actually. I'm doing... That's dropping... Uh, infrastructure upgrades across the board yeah, you're replenishing you need to replenish you're replenishing you're getting one unit to repair you're in good shape okay but this is now you're replenishing you're in good neck there's no need to use siege guns because we've got a it's just a single well there are no walls so Hafiz Fouad, you can march in and assault the city, and we're going to draw in some Prussian reinforcements. However, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the destruction of the Austrian faction. Cheers everyone.